I'm in my basement at the moment to pick up my bicycle and I just want to take this time to record another video as I often do when I have time. In this video I want to make a comparison. It's not going to be a very fun comparison but okay let me just make it the comparison. Let me put my bicycle over here. Good. When you are on a farm and you see there's dung over there some cow or some oxen did its thing. What do you notice? There are going to be flies that hang around it. Those flies are attracted to the dung or to the excrement, whatever you want to call it. Those flies are called shit flies in the streets. Why? Because there are insects that are attracted to excrement. Now, they are attracted to excrement for their reasons, according to their biology. I'm not going into that. I'm not a biologist. What I want to do now is to make a comparison to the human realm. Just like you have shit flies, as they call them in the streets, or flies attracted to excrement, you have human beings who are bitter minded and because of that they are attracted to contention. Yes, you have human beings out there who are attracted to contention. Now you may ask Rashid, how can someone be attracted to contention? Come on, contention is dangerous. Who in the right mind would want to be involved in contention? You're right, nobody in the right mind would want to be involved, especially attracted to contention. You have those people out there and they exist. You find them everywhere, in every country, in every place. Well, not in the absolute sense, but you get what I'm saying. You find them everywhere. In every com community they are there. Unless it's a community of only born again believers, which have those reprobate people that are attracted to contention. Why? Because they build an image of themselves as not validated. They may see themselves as real. And because they see themselves as real, they don't want to pretend in the social realm to get along with other people. There's a difference between faking and pretending. Faking is when you do something just to exploit the other individual without any regard for them. Pretending is when you are constructive and you're building and contributing to something better. So to pretend means that you are involved in a manifestation. To fake means that you have an illusion that you put in place just to get away with something. A lot of folks, they think that they are, that they are so real that they're so to the point that they don't have to tolerate anything that doesn't go along with their expectations because they are real. When they are upset, they just open them out and they throw things out. When they feel a certain way about someone, they just say it. They just are very open and right how they think and how they feel. And when things don't work out for them as they expect it, now they're upset because they think I'm real, but those people are quote unquote fake, but they have success. They are at peace. Then they become bitter. Then they will see their misery as a sign of superiority. So now they're clinging on to their misery and now they want you to validate their misery. You have to validate their misery because they perceive their misery as a sign of them being superior. For example, you may have a group of women and in that group of women you have one part that can't stand one of the women over there. Because the other woman that they can't stand well, she just doesn't match their expectations. And those women over there are very clear that they can't stand Jessica. Who does Jessica think Jessica is? And then you have other, another uh, group of women who also have issues. And they do project on Jessica, but they realize, hold on a minute, it's me with my issues, not Jessica. So when Jessica's around, they are at ease with her. And behind the scenes, they look for help for what they're going through. But externally, they do. Uh, project. So then that other group of women were very direct with their projections think those women there are fake because they can't stand Jessica. 
they're projecting all torches like we do, but they're, they're, they're hiding it. We're doing it in Jessica's face. So because the group of women who are direct with their violence, now feel superior to the ones that hide their violence, now they want validation for the violence they're open about. But when the violence doesn't bring them peace, nor ease, nor success, nor prosperity, they become upset with the quote-unquote fakers who do receive help and who are flexible. So now they start a smear campaign and a political advocate. They, they begin to become political advocates for their own misery. And to validate their misery, they need a specific target to be obsessed about. So you may have this scholar online who has a PhD, but people keep saying he has no PhD, even though the university published that he attained his PhD because he completed his PhD thesis. But the community that he's from keeps saying he has no PhD. You have people making hundreds of videos saying that he's a scammer, he's a faker, this and that. Okay, you may not agree with everything the man is doing, but at least he had his PhD. And the things he's saying are factual. But now, you have a crowd of people that keep on hating on him. They keep hating on him, they even come online embarrassing themselves by dumping on him, but they keep watching the videos that are posted about them just to go off at them. What's going on? They are pathological creeps. That's what they are. Just like you have shit flies in nature, you have human who are attracted to filth. They feel comfortable being around filth because then they have validation for their misery. And often the people who are like that are the people with jobs, they have mortgages, they are, they are in wetlocks. They are the respectable people. But because that respectable lifestyle of theirs doesn't work for them, now they need to look down on others who don't get along with their expectations. And if you don't get along with their expectations and things are going well for you, they lose it. They have to see you miserable so they are at ease. Because if you don't see you miserable and they keep attacking you and it doesn't happen, they'll explode and everyone around them will face their homicidal rage. Yes, you have such human beings. They exist. So, if you realize you're dealing with such creeps, which Christ called swine, then don't cast your pearls before them. Don't cast your pearls before swine. No. What will they do? They will, they will rob you. They will scam you. They will pretend to get along with you. They will pretend to repent. They will pretend all of that just have a chance to stab you in the back. Why? Because they're miserable and they want that misery to, to be transferred onto someone else. Why? Because they cling onto the misery, but at the same time, the misery is killing them. So they want the weight to be off them, so they want someone to push the weight on. And then, when the misery becomes uh, heavy again, you want to throw off the weight again. You have such people. So, do not look at appearance. Do not look at someone's vocabulary. If someone's from the streets and is using street language and street English, that's what he's using, that's what he grew up with. Don't judge him because of that. I mean, don't base your judgment only because of that. Because that guy from the streets who may use broken English, he may be far alert and far more advanced than those that go to their jobs every day and are taking abuse and exploitation by the system. When you don't match the expectations of swine, the swine will dedicate themselves to see you miserable if it means destroying themselves in the process even if it means harming their own children, their own families, and their own neighborhoods. If they have to ruin their own neighborhoods and bring death and destruction on their own neighborhoods just to see you miserable, they will do it. They are addicted to drama. They are addicted to violence. They are craving bloodshed. That's what they are. See them for what they are, not for what you want them to be, not for what they should be. See them for what they are and treat them appropriately. Was well, it for now? I need to leave. Keep agreeing with Christ.
Empieza el piso. 